No donation, no salvation! And remember, respect is everything. And we are back. And today we are looking at Crosshairs. So this is kind of my own take on Crosshairs. He is based on the character from the uh, um, Age of Extinction and uh, uh, Last Night films. But uh, he's kind of my own take on it since he doesn't look exactly like the uh, version from, that f from both those films. Um, he is supposed to be based on a C7 Corvette like the one in the films. But uh, I could only do so much with the limited parts I had because lime green is a very hard color to find. So, uh, you know, just keep that in mind. Same with purple and orange, at least for me anyway. But uh, here he is in his car mode. Um, it, again, it's not exact. I also don't normally use stickers on my builds because it's just not something I like to do. But I decided, you know what, I paid for the Legos. They gave me stickers. I'm going to use them, so screw it. Um, not to mention, you know, I, I, like I said, I had limited parts, so I couldn't really properly do the, the graphics he had on the side of the car. So I kind of just did my own thing with this, but uh, there's the car mode. And uh, yeah, that piece is a little uh, loose there, but that's for transformation, so uh, that's why. But uh, there's the back of the car. Again, I couldn't cover the head very much, so apologies for the back of the car not looking so great. But uh, anyway, there he is in his car mode. Uh, there's not much else to say about it, so let's just get straight to the robot mode. Okay, so his transformation is different. It's not like my usual car bot, uh, since he is, you know, the legs form the, the front of the car. So what you want to do is lift up the spoiler. Then what you want to do is pull one side out while keeping the other side, uh, you know, down. And then they'll kind of go in like that. That's supposed to form his, uh, I guess, cape or trench coat that he had in the film. Um, again, I couldn't properly recreate the look he had because, I mean, let's be real here, physics. But uh, let's go ahead and fold the legs out. The legs here I'm actually really happy about because I'm using a new technique here so that he actually gets taller. So fold the legs out like that and they just clip in with those two little studs. Then what you want to do is uh, go ahead and fold the, I guess, cape or trench coat parts back. Again, I, I can only do so much because, let's be real here, the laws of physics are quite a real thing and as you can see he's gotten a lot taller because I did want him to be a little taller than my usual car bot so go ahead and fold those out pull out the arms and he has actual hands for once which I'm really happy about because uh, I normally don't put hands on a lot of these builds but this build was uh, a little more forgiving so I was able to give him such so there they are and like in the movie I did make his uh, silenced Uzis because for some reason, he really needed to have suppressed uh, submachine guns, which, alright, that's cool, I guess. And they just go into his hands, just like that, if you can see them there. They're, they're black, so they kind of blend in with the rest of the, the robot, so it is what it is. But uh, there's his machine guns, so you can uh, destroy Decepticons with them. Um, again, a lot of my builds are done in the sort of anime chibi style, so just kind of keep that in mind. They're kind of based on Mega Man characters, if, that, if you want a good frame of reference for that. But um, anyway, there's Crosshairs. Uh, I really liked building him. I'm really happy with how the legs turned out. So, um, you know, it is what it is. But uh, until next time, you all have a good one. Hallelujah! Another soul saved!